Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, Miss Kia G, and today I'm doing a makeup tutorial. It's a get ready with me. I'm actually headed out, so I decided to do like a, my makeup tutorial. This tutorial is pretty much like what I normally, how I normally wear my makeup every day. You know, I don't really do all the eyeshadow unless it's for a special occasion, so bear with me. So um, first I'm going to use my uh, milk hydro grip primer this is my favorite one my favorite primers i used to wear the the tasha cam this one that used to be my favorite but now i think this took top notch so i'm gonna put this on my face i gotta look in the little mirror because i know i'm gonna miss some spots um, so how are y'all doing today? Um, so while I'm getting ready, I guess I can talk about myself, like where I'm from and like my background. Um, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, um, Brooklyn night, and now I moved to Atlanta, Georgia. This is where I currently reside. Um, Atlanta is totally different from New York. I, um... It took took definitely some time to get used to because I was not used to the accents. I wasn't used to people being so nice and, you know, courteous and saying hi. Like, I remember when I first came to school down here, I remember somebody said hi to me in the hallway. I was like, you talking to me? Because we in New Yorkers, we don't be saying hi to two strangers like that. That's that's not our, our cup of tea. We don't, we just don't do that. You know, unless you trying to fight, I'm like, Hey, what's going on? What's good? You trying to fight? <laughs> I kid. Um, so then I'm going to do my eyebrows. I normally wear my uh, Benefit Precisely My Brow. That's been my go-to. I just like how it makes my eyebrows look. I know my brows look a little untamed. I need to go get it done, so excuse that. So once again, I'm gonna be using the mirror. Um, so yeah, so moving down here to Georgia was definitely, you know, a, a culture shock. Um, just like the driving, people aren't like in a rush as they are in New York. In New York, they uh, like, like if you take as soon as the 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 green light. It's green. Once yeah, once the light turns green, you know they they blowing the horns <laughs> in New York. In New York, and down here in Georgia, they're a little bit more courteous. They give you like a little five second grace period, at least, and then they start blowing their horn. <laughs> but I guess that's just how it is. Um, I actually like it down here. Would I move back to New York? Um not too sure you know living down here is a little bit more peaceful a little bit more slower pace and a place where you know if i were to have kids this is where i would want them to like to grow up to be quite honest um so yeah oh and the color of precisely my brow is is um i think it's five five I go through these so much like it's it's crazy and I know I have like a little burn right here I have no idea where I got that from I don't know like do you guys ever just wake up and you guys just see marks on your body and like where on earth did that come from that's me right there. that's like I don't know where the hell that came from um so I've been living down here in Georgia for about um about 11 years now I know a lot of people still say like my New York accent is still strong which is a good thing I, I like my I like to maintain my New York accent <laughs> I like to keep it you know once the Brooklyn night always a Brooklyn night and then now that I finished arching that I'm going to go in with my also benefit the goof proof 
brow pencil and this is in the shade six I've always been like a makeup and I, I'm always on YouTube looking at you know the latest um, the foundations I, I am a foundation junkie like I have a whole lot <laughs> I think like everybody else like when one come out and you see like somebody on YouTube reviewing a different one you got to go out and get it like that's me like okay I gotta try it okay this person has the same kind of skin as me like combination I'm combination it's like all right this look good on her so this should look good on me my uh, favorite foundation for the moment I would say um I think I previously said it in my other um, makeup tutorial well review was the Charlotte Tilbury I like that because when I'm going to work for eight hours um I like my foundation to look just as good as when I put it on and that Charlotte Tilbury it, that's the one that's what I really would like to um get soon but I think I said I, I just bought so many foundations I'm trying to use up what I have for right now and then um maybe one day I'll get it it's a good foundation to use in the summertime that's what I will say it should have came out like in May because now it's like becoming fall and you're not going to need that matte foundation you want something dewy so yeah and then now I'm going to get my Fenty concealer just to clean it up I gotta go and get get a new one this is like oh, pretty much done this is in shade 390 like I like this so much this is one of my favorite concealers that I have I used to be like a, a NARS groupie <laughs> and I used to have the the radiant concealer but when this one came out I was like you know let me let me you know try something different and so I uh I got the Fenty and as you can see like this is it's almost done so I gotta go out and purchase a new one but actually I did want to go purchase one the other day and they were all out because I guess Sephora they had their sale so um they they didn't have any so I'm going to go to Lennox and see, hopefully they have it today. That would make me happy if they have it. <laughs> yeah. um, like some of the favorite things I like to do down here, uh, um, honestly, shopping. <laughs> I like to go shopping. Um, I like to spend time with my boyfriend. We we like to go top golf. I like top golf. We like to go see the movies. I like to sometimes go out and drink. Uh, of course, eat. <laughs> like I heard this this little vegan place called Slutty Vegan. Then I want to go and try it, and but um, every time I go on their Facebook page, it's uh like they have these long lines. So um. Yeah, I don't know too much about that. <laughs> but hopefully one day. I heard the best time to go to Slutty Vegan. I'm actually telling a secret. The best time to go, I heard, is at nighttime. Like around 8, 9, 10 o'clock. So that's when the crowd dies down. So if you, will, if you guys are willing to go there, that's the perfect time to go. So, um, other things I like to do, let me think. I guess I like to eat, I like to shop. Um, I do like to go bowling. I'm pretty good at bowling now. Like, a couple years back, I wasn't too that, too bad, too good. And I was like, oh, I don't want to do it. But, um, that's why they always say practice makes perfect. Because now I'm pretty good. I'll be getting my strikes and I'll be getting that in. Like, so you know, I gotta pat myself on the back for that. Um, where is I? I don't need to try and blend this out. Like, 
I kid you not, the Hydro Grip Primer is the bomb. Um, I remember, I think it was one sale. I think the sale in April, March, April, this is a four sale. And everybody was doing like a, what to get from the sale. And everybody would, had kept saying, get this primer, get this primer. And so I, I fell for the high bag and I got, I got the, the small one. And I was like, what, damn, this is, this is good. This is very good. I use that even more than my um the Tasha one. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I'm going to go use my eyeliner. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. I this is pretty good. I like this one a lot. This is really the second eyeliner I've ever used. The one that I've been using was the MAC Coal one, but um, I decided to retire that and try something else and um this goes on this this just glides on very smoothly so if anybody's looking for uh, an eyeliner i i recommend this charlotte tilbury i'm the type of person that i got a hole like the side of my eye i know they said it's not good because it gives you crow's feet so I'm, I'm trying, I'm practicing not to use it. But this, this also helps me not to use that because it glides on so smoothly, I don't even need to use it. Yeah, hold on to, hold on to right there. So let's see. Okay, didn't do too bad. Do you see the difference how it looks so good? <laughs> um other than going out you know i'm pretty much like a homebody i like to stay in and, and binge watch tv shows that's always been my thing some of the tv shows that are my favorite are um game of thrones i hated the last the last episode like i Normally, every time when the after I watch the first episode, I like to watch it again in the middle of the week. But that was the first episode I didn't even care to watch the the last to rewatch it because it was it was so I was like what like really like we invested six seven years of our lives and this is the ending we get like Danny literally you know kill everybody. To, to get that throne and this is how you repay her like this is how you really repay her come on all right let me do the bottom no this I, I gotta gotta hold my bottom lid down so just just hold on okay um, other than Game of Thrones, that's one of my favorites. Used to be one of my favorites. Um, Orange is the New Black. I was so sad when it was finished. But I, I guess it was time for that to finish, to come to an end. Because um, I think two seasons ago, when they first, was it when they first? I, mean, I think after the season after the, that riot, I said to myself, okay, this, this show got to come to an end. Because just kind of losing its touch now so um it ended on a good note like i really enjoyed that last season like that season made, it made me cry <laughs> i know we don't say that about a lot of shows but it made me cry okay so now i got i got my um now i'm gonna use my mark jacobs this is the eyelash primer i i like this a little bit it's kind of i mean i really would i recommend this if you have the money to splurge, get it. If you don't have the money, don't get it. It's not something you have to get. Would I repurchase this? If I have the money, I would. Um, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, Orange is the New Black. Now that is off. Like, all of the shows are off this year. Game of Thrones. And now Power is about to be done. That's also my favorite. That's a show me and 
my man would be like to stay up at 12 and watch it. I told him like, you know, when we're watching this, don't be yelling and shouting. He likes to yell and shout while we're watching TV shows. And me, I'm quiet like, so we, this is my show. I put you on this, so therefore you gotta be quiet. <laughs> He's been doing good with that so far. Um, and with the with the Mark Jacob, I normally just put just put the um the primer right on the tip of my eyelashes because it, I see people when they put it all on their lash, lashes, it doesn't really blend well. So that's what I normally do. I just put it on the tip because that's all I need it on. It's just just the tip. And then now I'm gonna go on. This is this is my favorite, the Pat McGrath Labs that I finish. Fetish eyelash, ma eyelash mascara. This is this is worth the money. They raised the price. It's like thirty dollars. The only thing I don't like is the packaging. It could have been a little bit more fancier, you know, just a little bit more luxurious. But I love this. I freaking love this mascara. This is the, also another mascara that on YouTube everybody's been raving about, and then I went and go and got it, and I don't regret it. So thank you. Thank you all, y'all. Uh, YouTube gurus. <laughs> I would definitely repurchase this again when it finished. A lot of people can say it gives you like with a spider spider lashes or something i don't remember what they said but um i personally like the spider it makes me look like i have false eyelashes i don't do false lashes i, I tried it and i guess i failed <laughs> but one day i'll come back to it and try it again um what else about me Like I said, I'm normally homebody. I do love makeup. I'm a makeup junkie. I am a foundation junkie. I just love, I just love to play in makeup. Makeup and perfumes. I love perfumes. I, if I like the scent, I'm, I'll buy it, you know, because if it makes me feel good and makes me smell like, like I, you can smell me 10 miles away from here, then I, I will get it. <laughs> okay. And now I'm with my foundation, which is the Chanel Ultra Late Tint. Uh, I guess, oh, the All Day Flawless Finish Foundation. This is the newest one that came out with. I bought the one right before this. I guess they, they remade it. I hated that. <laughs> I, 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 I think I only put that foundation on maybe like, no more than maybe five, six times. And the last time I had put it on, I looked at myself, I was like, no. I said, hell no, I'm never putting this on again. So I gave it to my mom and I think she's using it. So when I finally came out with another one, I said, you know, let me get a sample and let me make sure I use up all of the sample and let me make sure I try this on for like a whole week and let me see if I really love it. I wore it to Miami this summer and I said, yeah, I gotta get it. I, I gotta get this. So I'm gonna go in with this. Um, I just use two pumps. Okay, now I gotta use my little mirror here. I like the uh, the makeup, no makeup look. Like, I don't like too much makeup on my face. It's just not really ever really been my thing. Unless it's like I said, a special occasion, or if it's like a wedding or something somewhere, I really gotta look bam. Then you know I'll uh, definitely put on some some um, eyeshadow and you know try to look good for that occasion. But if it's just like a regular night out of the town, then you know I just uh, do my makeup like how I normally do it when I go to go to work.
um so yeah more about me uh, my parents are from the islands my mom she's from st vincent and the grenadines and my dad he is from jamaica a lot of people down here always say I, I sound like i'm from the islands and i never knew that i never knew that until i moved down here and it wasn't until my 12th grade english teacher told me that i sound like i'm from there and i remember i came home and i told my mom and <laughs> she was like no you don't <laughs> you don't sound like you're from the islands and it's funny now because when I um, when I hear like my friends in New York talk, I'm like, okay, yeah, they they too sound like that. So I guess we just we just got that that the, it just rubbed off from our parents. So that's why we sound like that. And I get that all the time. Some people would say I I sound like I was born there. Some people would say I I sound like I was born there, or I sound like I'm from New York. They say like or both like a mixture i'm like oh thank you yeah i appreciate that so now i'm going in with my fancy concealer i'm debating if i should wear this or my toothpaste um uh probably wear the fancy i know i have the Too face um multi-use sculpting concealer and i normally use this before work because it's giving me like a natural look if I want something, just a little pop, then I can do the fancy. Oh, and that's, shade, and that's in shade Maple. Maple. I think a lot of people I see, like my complexion, they use, I think, chestnut. So maybe when that one's done, I'm going to try chestnut. But that one's not too bad. Remember when I first got into like highlighting and contouring, it was probably like how long ago? Like maybe four years ago when I used to like look on TV and like, how do most girls get their makeup look like that? Like lighter there and darker there. So I just went on YouTube and start looking at um tutorials like, okay, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that and I, I bought I remember my first highlighting one was a the Bobbi Brown uh concealer well highlighting stick foundation stick and I, I don't I think it was in golden honey or something like that and I bought their their uh their darkest foundation stick in espresso and that was finally done it is finally done Bobbi Brown is a very good um makeup brand like you, there are certain brands that you know, but no matter what you buy, it's going to be good because they they cater to all skin types and all skin tones, which is very important. So I'm gonna let me blend this out a bit. And shout out to the to the boo, to the boyfriend for for buying me this my first ring light. That's why this this uh video is looking more popping than the other two. Thanks, thank you, boo. So days get yourself a man who is gonna invest in you, who who knows your worth. Make sure you always do that, cause time waits on no man. If you feel like you know what. He ain't living up to your standards, then you gotta go. You gotta go. Life's too short, man. Life is too short to be settling for for less your worth. And we all getting up there in age, so we don't want to wait until like we're forty and like, damn, why did I didn't leave him like ten years ago? He still was doing the same stuff. Like, come on. I know finding a good man is definitely hard, but I'd rather be single than putting up with somebody's nonsense. <laughs> That's just me. Um, uh, what should I use for contouring? Okay, I'll probably use the Huda if I can find it. I 
I'm gonna use my Huda Tantor Contour Bronzer Cream, and this is in the color tan. I actually bought the brush too. I, I had to buy the brush because I couldn't, there was no other, um, I guess, utensil I, I could have used to for this to work. So yeah, it's kind of dirty because I do work and I do put on makeup throughout the week. So I don't, I don't have time to be always using clean brushes or makeup to so excuse me. <laughs> But that is a little bit about me. If you have any questions, you know, if you want to know a little bit more about me, then just ask me down below. But um, I mean, I am a private person also. Don't be asking me like, you know, just crazy stuff. It's just gonna be, I'm just not gonna answer it. <laughs> But yes, get yourself a good, find a, find a good man. A good man is hard to find. No, no man is perfect. I know that. So if he, if you know, like, all right, this is just too much. And you know, like he's not gonna change or whatever, what have you, then, then yeah, you just might have to say goodbye. I always said that, um, you know, if, if I, if I'm not happy in a relationship, then I'd just rather be single. That's just personally me, my preference, because I I rather not be stressed out. I I just can't do that. It's just I rather just be single and happy than being in a relationship and miserable. And he actually surprised me with this, the ring light. He was the one that actually has been telling me for like a year now to start doing YouTube videos because you're always watching them and you have so much makeup. So why not get in there and, you know, join the crowd? So here I am. But anybody that lives in Atlanta, like, let me know, like, what other stuff that you guys do for fun. Because I remember my homegirl asked me, well, what's there to do for fun? <laughs> uh, that was, I think that's pretty much it. If you go to a concert or whatever, then that'd be, that'd be good. And now I'm going to go use my Fenty um, my powder. The uh, the honey pro filter setting powder, whatever you all know what the hell it is by now. <laughs> I, I like this powder. I I especially love it when I'm using it underneath my eye because that really sets it pretty good. I also have the Huda um, setting powder too, and um, it is a good powder. But underneath the eye, this is this is better. So I'm just did my sponge and try to set it. Oh, my thing. I don't do all that bacon. Like I said, I just do the all day kind of make, no makeup makeup look. I don't I, I don't like that. So it's just a natural natural beat. Um, so I'm start, I'm trying to start doing some um, some clothing hauls because I love Zara. That's another thing about me. I love Zara. So so real soon. I don't know how because you know I'm I'm just now starting out on on uh, makeup. So I got, I got to figure out how I'm gonna show all the full length. Uh, outfits. So once I figure that out, I'm gonna make sure I do that because I gotta get in that too. Cause I I got like my whole closet is like pretty much from Zara. 
just don't tell anybody that though because you don't want people to be dressing like you wearing same clothes as you you know so just keep that down low okay <laughs> um so now i'm gonna use my um what bronzer let me use my bobby brown bronzer this is like also like in very good bronzer. I remember, I think her name is Andre or Renee Oz. I love her. Like we are the same complexion. Like for every foundation, we are foundation twins. And she said something that, which I've noticed when I first bought this like two, three years ago. Like this is like really magic. You don't really see it on your face, but it, like give it like two, three minutes. And then once it settles, it's like, where the hell did that come from? So this is in shade deep bronzing powder. Um, let me find my brush. Just had my brush. Oh, I'm using my Fenty, my Fenty bronzer brush. I love this thing. I, I freaking love it. It's worth the money. Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more white. Don't mind my edges. I am. Just, uh, sorry. Yeah, don't mind my edges. I'm trying not to get a relaxer. I am team creamy crack. Yes, I am. Natural is not for everyone, okay? When you go natural, you still have breakage as well. Not everybody wants to do that. Some people are just tender-headed, and they just can't deal with all of that nappiness, okay? So don't come for me in the comments. But I, I don't get, I try to get perms every two, every two months. I try to stretch it out to four months get my hair a break. So like I said, don't come for me. Uh, I do go to the Dominicans. That's why I normally get my hair washed. Everybody that's from New York, they know for a good washing set, you go to the Dominicans. And I still do. I, I went. I go to the same one ever since I moved down here, and I'm so happy because I get like a good discount price. She she charges me the same price as ten years ago, so <laughs> that's why I wouldn't go to anybody else. Cause you know when it comes to certain things, I'm I'm cheap. Uh, I'm cheap. Like I can't. I don't feel like spending all that money. That money can go towards a perfume or some makeup. <laughs> okay, and um. Going to put on some powder. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I probably will use my Sephora one. This is an also another one. Sephora. No, YouTube made me buy it. This is another product of YouTube made me buy it. I would say it's okay. Will I buy it again? Not really. Uh, <laughs> I like my Mac uh, mineralized skin finish. I love my Mac, and I'll be the only one that. I would really use but this is this is so this is good if you if you want to save the coins I would say get it but I would not get it again but it's also it's good to have you know some alternatives in your in your makeup bags which I do Have y'all seen the new J-Lo movie, The Hustlers? I I want to go see that. I want to see how well she, uh, she um, what you call it, dances on a pole. She can probably give me some tips. Just saying. You all want to make sure you are, well, never mind. I know my mom be watching this, so. <laughs> let me not, let me not say anything I'm going to regret. Okay, um, do, 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 do. let me see what else can I put on. Now I will I put on a blush. Okay, I'm gonna use my Becca Sunlit Bras and Molly Nights. I'm gonna use this as a as a blush. This I like this a lot, and I know you hear me say I like this a lot, but I like it a lot. It's, it's not too much in your face is, that you can see it. 
that's why I like I, I appreciate this. I appreciate Becca make, for making this for deeper skin tones. So yeah, I should be getting my next relaxer. I'm trying to stretch it out to October, like mid-October. And I, that would probably be it for the for relaxers for the for the year. Cause I am I'm, I'm I'm trying to tone down on doing the relaxers, but I still get them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just remember, natural is not for everybody. Well, I mean, as long as you take good care of your hair, that's the main thing. I see so many people on Instagram with relaxers that have nice long hair. So it's not like, oh, okay, well, let me just cut off my nice long hair and just go natural because everybody is doing it. No. Let me get my highlighter. <clears throat> I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs. I use this as a highlighter. I think it's like an all over your face powder, but I use it just to highlight my face. It's the uh, Accomplice and the shade Starlet. This is a nice, um, not too much in your face powder, I guess. I, I never use it all over my face. Maybe I should use it, but no, I already put on powder. One day I'm gonna use it all over my face, but not today. Just had just put it right on top of the my powder. I have like some new bronzers, like the uh, what is this? The, the Benefit one. I have the Beauty. So like, let me know if you wanna do like a video of like my favorite bronzers, cause I do have some. I don't. I don't. I really don't buy from drugstores i i'm a sephora girl I, i'm a department store girl so that's also another thing about me so i don't have like um like a lot of drugstore makeups i'm not bougie i, I promise you i'm not i shop at target just like everybody else um hi can me put some fix spray I, I just bought the the Fix Plus, the lavender. I like how it smells. It's pretty good. I, I, I need to get the, the watermelon. I need to see how that smells. Whew, and just let that soak for a second. Let me think of a lipstick to wear. I don't know. I'm just saying like I'm going to a con. I have on like a uh, a cheetah skirt so I gotta think of a nude probably wear a nude lipstick well all my lipstick alright where are all my lipsticks Give me one second. All right, I am sorry about that. I got powder all on my shirt. Okay, I have, I have to, I'm trying to find a primer, a lip primer here. I have the MAC Prep, Prep and Prime. They, they raised the price, I think it's like 18, 19 dollars for this. I would not buy this for original price. I'll always wait until, I will always wait until it goes on sale to get this because it's not worth uh, 18, 19 dollars at all. I'm sorry, but I do like it. I got it for free a couple months back. Got to think because um, they made me wait so long when they gave it to me. And I was like, you know what? I like this because I never really wore a lip primers. So when that one finished, I, I didn't buy it until it was like on sale. My cat I guess 25% off sale or whatever. And then that's when I bought it. I was like, okay, let me get up in this. So I'm gonna use my chestnut. Like I said, I love my chestnut lip pencil. The main two lip pencils that I use are chestnut and night moth. Chestnut is pretty much for every color except for red. For red, I will use night moth. Okay. 
Why is this like not showing? The hell? <laughs> I, I, I think I have a malfunction with pencil. This is a new one that I got. For some reason, it's, every time I put it on, it's, on, it's like coming on very light. It was my sharpener. I can't deal with this. Try not to break the point. Gosh, it's so sharp. <laughs> okay, there you go. I guess I I do the all 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 over my lip. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my NARS pencil. This is in Dance Fever. I use this when I go to work. This is a good work to pencil. So, you know, I don't like to wear too many um, bold colors to work. So this is, if you're looking for one, a good a work, work pencil. If you're looking for a good lip color to go to work, this is it. I can't talk. I don't know why. And I normally just put it all over my lips. Let me um, turn this down. I probably might end up changing this color. I don't know. Throughout the night, depending on how I feel. And then I'm going to align my lips one more time. Well, I got them. I got them DSL, so I gotta make sure they they always on point. Also, another thing, I used to get teased by my lips. That's crazy. And now everybody, everybody trying to trying to um have them these nice juicy lips, but. I was born with these. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All right. And that is pretty much my makeup tutorial. I'm gonna do my hair off camera and when I come back later on this evening, I will come back and show you guys how my makeup look. The time now is, I have no idea. I believe it's five something. So when I come back later on, I'm gonna show you how well my Chanel foundation held up. So please check back with me later on and I'll talk to you guys a little later, bye. Hey guys, I am back from my evening out and this is how my face is looking. I haven't blotted, the time is 12.39. I left like around six o'clock so i had this on for uh six hours and change um held up pretty good like i have not blotted at all so if you are out looking for uh, a foundation i would recommend the chanel it's a little pricey 60 dollars. so yeah so if you want to save up and get it that's what i did <laughs> um so yeah, I gotta go. It's time for power. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and comment. Let's be friends. All right. Have a good night. Bye.